What's up, everyone? It is your girl, JL Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and it's time for another Why You Don't Need. So, today it's Why You Don't Need. You don't need the new Too Faced palette. Now, I know you're excited because they actually gave some color, but they've sprinkled color here and there in the past, and that's why you don't necessarily need this particular palette. Um, Andrew, is my phone over there? Thank you, sis. Yeah, so why you don't need this palette, girl? Like, th this is just a repeat of that Palm Springs palette that they came out with like three years ago, girl. I did a whole video on it. I'll try to remember to link it up above because I compared it to the Ambrizi palette and they look similar. Matter of fact, I still got the picture on my phone, so let me zoom you on. See? A lot of those same colors are in this. Yeah, see, a lot of those same colors are in there, just like in the Ambrizi palette. You don't need this palette. Like, just because they added some bright pops of orange. In it and a couple of other things because I think I have a picture of that actual palette. Yeah, see, it, it's not that much different than this other one. I mean, there's some brighter oranges in it and a shimmery black. Like, you, you don't really need this. You, you don't need it. Aside from the fact, you already got two affordable palette options for similar colors with this palette. So, girl, you don't, we don't need. I'm trying to figure out which one to use in this video because I actually did a battle a while ago. Sorry, not a battle. I did a um, a eyeshadow versus or whatnot of these two palettes when I did the BH Cosmetics and the ColourPop one because they were duping each other and now Too Faced out here duping ColourPop and BH Cosmetics and thinking I'm gonna pay $54? Child, you tried it. Honey, they tried it. And what we're not doing is actually buying it because I'm not paying you $54 for a palette ColourPop was literally given away a week ago. Like they literally gave this palette away I'm about to show y'all for free. And it has, it's very reminiscent of the, what is this, Sparkling Spritz or whatever it's called. I don't even know what it's called. But the point is you don't need it. It'll say in the title what it's called, but, but you don't need it. See? Like, look at this. This is reminiscent of that. Colourpop gave this away a week ago for free when you made a certain amount of purchase. Now, I don't see it on their website anymore, so I guess that's why they were just giving away. But I gave y'all a whole video on this palette. I'll try to remember to link that above, too, because I think I've done videos of each one of these palettes I'm about to show. But it's like, if you already have this palette, why are you giving Too Faced $54? Girl, if you don't go get a single black shimmery shadow and move on with your life. You don't need to give them $54. What, what we will not do is waste the money on Too Faced. We will not. Okay? Now, if it goes 50% off and you want to buy it, then I totally condone that. It's totally fine. Not that I should be able to tell you what to do with your money, but I mean, like, since money is hard up and these palettes already exist in your collection, girl, don't be giving them that money. Next, we have the Summer and San Pay from BH. Now, I know they don't make this one anymore, but um, I think people had been finding this around TJ Maxx. So if you grab yours at TJ Maxx, again, you don't need that because what is this? This is a similar color story. I mean, I know it has this little orange and red section. I don't know how mine got knit to down there, but anyway. Um, it's reminiscent of that same palette. So, excuse me. You don't need it. You don't need it. I literally just showed you two affordable options. Not to mention, if you have the Ambrizi palette, you might not need it either. I mean, the Ambrizi doesn't have the bright oranges. It's more cooler. But see, look. If you have either one of these palettes, you don't need it, girl. You just don't. I'm going to show the Ambrizi one real quick because my battery's about to die. And then I'll figure out which one I'm going to use. And I'll come back with a look. But yeah, so... This is what the Emerizi one looks like on the inside. Again, it's giving similar vibes. You have that blue, you have that purple shade, you have like a bright pink. You just don't have any of the oranges. She did more of a sultry moment, but you got the blue, you got the pink. You got the um like deeper berryish tone shade. You don't need this palette, girl. You don't need it. Let me zoom in real quick and cute like because when I come back, we're going to figure out what I'm going to put on my eyes. I'm thinking the BH Cosmetics one just because I feel like that one might be easier to find. I haven't seen this ColourPop one in quite a while other than when I told y'all about it was free. Or maybe we should just do an eye of each one. You can tell me which one you like best, girl. I don't know. Y'all know me. I'll be indecisive. I don't know. But if you're curious what's on my eyes right now, this is the Moonfall palette from Shroud Cosmetics. Um, I got mine um, when they did the restock. Shout out to Beauty and the Frizz when she told me when it was restocking because I could not remember for life me when it was going to restock. So I quickly grabbed it up this go round and you got this gorgeous eye look out of it. I'm going to do one more eye look with it but um, it'll probably be like on Instagram and then if y'all like it then maybe I'll do it short or Instagram reels or something like that. But I'm going to go off camera and get my life in order and then we'll come back with whatever palette I decided because girl I don't know. I'll be right back. Okay girl? Okay. Okay, y'all, so this is the eye I came up with. I decided to go with the BH Cosmetics Summer in San Tropez. This is what we're going with. So, for the shades I use, I swatched them on my hand. I tried to make this pink shade as dark as possible, so I used the purple with it. So, I combined this shade 
in this shade. Those two. And then I use this in my crease, obviously. This is the gold that's in the inner corner. And then this is the pink that's on the lid. And then I just did a hot pink line with the extra. Because I felt like it's like, you know. There you go. Just put some eyeshadow primer and begin going. Because all the other videos I actually have to film, I already did the eye looks for before. So I don't have to do thumbnails. So this is the only thumbnail I really need to brush and get done. While the sun is out, I might take some more pictures just because, you know, I can. But I figured since I posted them last week, I don't really need to. If anything, I'll just be trying to show off the other products that are on my face. And for once, I'm actually caught up on all the new stuff that's going up. Like, I filmed all that yesterday. You all saw the, um, you all would have seen all the new stuff I've already filmed by the time this video goes up. Because this goes up on the... 13th. So I started off by dipping into this one, but then I just changed to the pink. So I'm just do the same thing I did last time. I start off with that one and then just dip into the pink later. Because I know the palette had this shade in it as well. So I started off dipping into it and then I darkened it up with like the pink later on. Anyway, um, y'all, I'm just I came up with another series, of course, because I was coming up with a series involving an eyeshadow palette. So I got another one coming up. I'm going to have to go home and pick palettes out for it. I'm hoping my um, Cosmic Brush Palette shows up today. If not, it'll just have to get filmed next week. I found a dupe for the Glowish um, Primer. That new um, Freeze one from... What's it? NYX? It is um, a good dupe to the Glowish one. Now, I feel like it blurs the pores with all the other stuff it claims it does. I didn't see any of that. I'm going to test it out for the rest of the week, though, since I've already obviously tested out the Glowish one. I asked to put the Glowish one on today, and then it just confirmed what I thought, because I did in the um, Valentino video you're going to see on Sunday. I um, tried that primer for the first time. So, you know, we're going to just see how it goes and where it all we And you'll probably see the underrated versus overrated, because I was going to take it back to... Um, Target like because it's 20 bucks so it's not like it's cheap and then I'm like I already got something similar to it but I was like wait because I already have something similar to it let me go ahead and pop it in the video so you'll see that underrated versus overrated eventually I have already pre-filmed like I think a couple more of those so they should be launching slowly but surely some of the stuff is going to be like super late to the party but it's not like I have not been giving y'all palette comparisons and talked about it in other videos so it's not like you won't know so I'm, I'm mixing both the shades together right now and then we'll start off. When I did it on the other side, I actually just put this pink one on first and then I put the purple one on top of it. But this time I was like, I'm gonna mix it and see. It makes a difference. I don't personally see a difference, so it's like I'm gonna just pat it on top like I did on the other side. Now that I see that it's not making that big of a difference. But yeah, I'm so excited. Like the John Wick movie comes out in two weeks, and I'm like, I love John Wick, so. I'm excited to go see that. I just go to dinner with one of my friends tonight, but like, she has to work again, so that ain't happening. So I'm just like, oh, well, we ain't going tonight, moving on. Like, I will have dinner at home and save those coins, which I am fine. Although, I wanted to try this restaurant because I heard Vicky Logan talking about it, and she was talking about how really nice it was, and it looks really nice. But I'm glad I didn't make a reservation because we wouldn't have been able to make it. And then she'll work all next week too. So I'm like, maybe the next time we get paid, she can do it. And I can like go see the movie Friday. And then Saturday, I can like go to dinner with her. Because that's when we had planned to go. But I'm like, we'll have to see how it goes. So. As usual, I have no plans. Other than to go home and relax from the week of work I had to do. And then all of these eyeshadow videos I have to do today. Because y'all, I'm talking about, I'm going to do like a whole, whole lot of videos today. Because I have like two or three different boxes sitting around me. Which is eyeshadow palettes in. And I'm like, yeah, no. That, that's, that's not a vibe. It, they need to disappear. I'm trying to take as many homes as possible today. So. And you can get more when I will be here. For a little bit. Because. I'm trying to get as much stuff as possible done. So, I 
kind of want some pizza, but I'm like, I don't know, because y'all, like, pizza is going up to almost like 20 bucks, but I only order like the stuff plus. I'm like, to me, that's high for one pizza, and I can buy like how many frozen pizzas at that price? So I'm thinking, I'm just clicking on the frozen pizza that I can have and take those coins, because I'm trying to spend all this outrageous money. Now we're going to go into the sparkly pink shade that's on the I thought it was somewhat similar to the shade in um, the Too Faced palette called Take Take Me to Church, but I'm like, I don't know if it is or not, obviously. I didn't go to the Ultra, but I go to my house to see if they had the palette in stock. When I looked on the app, it said they didn't have it in stock, along with a whole bunch of other stuff I was thinking about getting, so I was like, hmm. So I kind of just was like, okay, well, since they don't have it anymore, I'm not going to like worry about it because I was going, I was thinking about getting it initially like everybody else who has gotten it but then I was just like yeah no and I'm kind of glad I didn't now because it's like I'd have been $54 I wasted that I didn't have to need this all that's why I try to periodically go through my collection and check I'll be calling myself trying to make myself declutter stuff but like you don't turn out that well but I always end up getting some content for you all so I mean I guess technically it works out because I went to my collection, I was like, this looks like palettes that I already own. Like, I randomly woke up in the middle of the night, I was like, this looks similar to all the palettes I already have. And then I pulled them out and was like, yes, this is it. Tell y'all, y'all think I'd be playing like at 3 o'clock in the morning and stuff like that. I'd be up just pulling out palettes in the middle of the night. I'm just glad the people in my house would be waking up like, what are you doing? And being annoyed because they can hear me like opening drawers and pulling out stuff, but you know. I'm the type of person when I'm inspired, I have to like go grab it then and do it then. So like, when I be inspired to pull out this palace, I be like pulling it out three in the morning. I'm talking to my mom and get up like, what are you doing? So I'm like, you know what I'm doing. She's like, you had an idea. I'm like, yes. So like, you had to put it in the bag now while I had the idea. So now we're going to go into the gold shade I told y'all about. Y'all showed them back my hand and just pop it into the corner here real quick and keep it like that. And this is the finished eye look. So let's back on up. So you got this nice little pigmented, great pinky ass moment that you could have got from that same palette. And I helped you save some coins. So it's, it's always a good look. So that's why you don't need this palette. It, it's not a necessity at all. You can do without it and you'll be fine. So I'm looking at because I was looking at the swatches to um, compare like the tones or whatever. That's what I was doing. Anyway. I have my eye look done, okay. this is what we work with. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I talked you out of buying this palette, even though it looks really cute or whatever for Too Faced. Just pull out that Palm Springs palette they had come out a while ago, or pull out this palette, or pull out the Cabana Club palette. If you were more into like the blue-orange vibe of it all, I would say do the Cabana Club. If you got it free from ColourPop, great for you. Or if you were more into like the pinkyish tones, then I feel like you could like the um, this one more because they both have tone, the same type of tones in them. It's just as far as shimmers versus matte um, goes, that's the difference in these two palettes in my personal opinion. Again, I'm going to try to remember to link the video up above where I talk about the, um, when I do the eyeshadow versus because I actually use both of these palettes so I remember correctly and eyeshadow versus don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure I did. Even if I didn't, you can see the comparisons and whatnot. Um, but yeah. I'll try to remember to bring up the Amrezy and, um, what is it, um, Palm Springs palette as well so you can see those as well. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember y'all the diamonds and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.